Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the brewery's Orzada. There's a party inside. All right, so the Orzada, this is a, an homage to the horchata, uh, which if you know, well, I'll let you explain it. You're probably better at explaining <laughs> what it is than I am. So horchata is just a Latin American drink. It's uh, made out of rice. Essentially, I think it's just rice with like actual milk and cinnamon and sugar, and it's this delicious like milky rice drink. Yeah. Um, it's got vanilla, lactose. It's brewed with rice. What's the ABV on it? 7.1, 7.2, sorry. It's also a blonde ale, right? It is, yeah. It kind of looks like a like a strong ale or something like that. Yeah. Like the color looks kind of like a what you would find in a strong ale. I don't smell really anything. There's like a bit of booziness and like a little bit of a it smells like a Belgian, like they used maybe Belgian yeast or something. Yeah, let's try it. How bad could this be? Hmm. What? Okay. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Pumpkin beer. Like those pumpkin oh, ales. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know, come to think of it, it does kind of smell like that too. Like, like those typical, I think it's the cinnamon, it's gotta be. Because oh, this uses cinnamon, and the, a lot of the pumpkin beers use cinnamon too. But yeah, it kind of, it's almost like yummy, only because this, this really does taste like a regular pumpkin ale. That comes yeah, out. It, it, what it tastes like to me is a seasonal um, October pumpkin spiced beer, almost. Yeah. Now, they say that this is brewed with lactose. I was expecting a little bit more kind of creaminess to it. That, la that lactose quality just doesn't kind of come through to me anyway. I'm not getting that creamy mouthfeel that normally a lactose beer would, would give you on your palate. And it's this is definitely more like a, just a regular pumpkin beer. I wouldn't even call it a pumpkin beer. I would almost call it just a seasonal ale. Yeah. Like an autumn ale. Yeah. It's hard to describe this taste. They were, on the website, they do say, uh, what do they say, the, the taste is hard to describe, but once you know, you know, or if you know, you know. Um, I would agree with that. It's, it's a little tricky to kind of pinpoint all the flavors going on in here. It does taste a little cinnamony, nutmeggy, a little bit of alcoholic twinge to it, but not a burning one. Uh, not very much carbonation to it. Yeah, that's, that's all it is. A little sweet, a little sweet. It is a little sweet, uh, yeah. but it's it's one of those beers that I feel like you could you could get that kind of fall thing going on without it actually being fall. Yeah, Does that makes sense. Yeah. So, cool. All right. All right. So, on a scale of one to five, what do you think you would give this one? Um, I give it a three. Okay. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Didn't I really was hoping for it to be better? I mean, it's a brewery. Like I usually like the stuff that they put out. So I'm just a little disappointed. I would probably, I would definitely drink it again. Would I seek it out? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, it's not one that you're gonna go crazy and stand in a line for, but at the same time, if you saw this in the store, try it out. It's an interesting beer, it's unique. Well, that does it for us. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and gently tap that bell button for notifications when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.